hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel so in this particular tutorial we are going to learn about the projection of circular plane of 300 mm diameter resting on hp right and it's uh, on the point a on the circumference further its plane or surface inclined at 45 degrees to hp so i told you whenever plane or surface inclination with hp is given and uh, side or edge or it's a uh, diameter basically resting on HP is given so you have to draw true shape on HP its true length will be on VP right and its true length inclinations will be on VP and its top A will be on HP right so similar to our previous problems we have to draw the solutions for this particular kind of problem statement okay so now I am drawing the solutions for it please pay attention so I am going to draw one uh, XY reference line Okay, press escape now give the detect command select any point on the screen then specify height is 0.2 and rotation angle is 0 right so now I can write down here X and Y uh, reference plane okay this is my basically VP in VP I always draw front view this is my HP in HP I always draw top view right and in the bottom corner you can write down your name so i am writing my name right g h r c e right full stop okay then press s okay so i have not click on the right side so go to the text okay select any point on the screen point two rotation angle is zero right so now i can write down here uh, g h r c e Okay. I'm clicking on the uh, left side. So now this is basically the steps you have to follow every time, right? So now I am going to draw one circle of 300 mm diameter. So from the toolbar, basically I am going to select a circle, okay, right? And here basically he is asking us for the center point of the circle. Let us say this is my uh, center point, okay? and then he is asking us for the radius of the circle so if it is 300 mm uh, diameter means 3 autocad unit right so if i am going to select 1.5 autocad units that is 150 mm will be the radius of the circle okay so i am going to select uh, the 150 mm uh, that is a radius and I, I have drawn a circle of 300 mm diameter so then press escape so for the checking you can check the dimension just before that what you can do from the center point you can draw axis right uh, horizontal and uh, vertical axis okay so that uh, you can check the dimensions okay press escape okay now you can give the dimensions to check whether you have drawn is correct or not so this is basically you can check this is 300 mm or 3 AutoCAD uh, unit right press escape convert this particular dimension into cyan color okay press escape now you have to divide this particular circle into 12 number of 12 number of parts okay so how you are going to uh, divide then unclick on snap right uh, select line consider this as a circle a center and then by 30 30 divisions you have to basically draw uh, or divide the circle into 12 number of parts so my uh, basically radius is 1.5 autocad units then press tab and the rotation angle is 30 so you can select check uh, my one part has been created okay similarly i am going to select another point uh, this center and then from here basically uh, 60 degree right 1.5 as a radius then press tab then clear uh, select 60 and then press enter okay so now you can check this is basically 30 degree divisions for the checking what you can do you can go to angular right for your reference basically okay you can see this is basically uh, 30 degree right then immediately convert this particular uh, dimensions into cyan color so in the similar way dear students i need to divide it okay so consider this as a center okay and this will be my uh, 90 plus 30 that is 120 so 1.5 autocad unit this tab 120 degree right 
press escape in the similar fashion select this as a center okay and then it is 120 plus 1 uh, plus 30 that is 150 so 1.5 as a diameter radius and uh, 150 basically as a uh, angle okay so you can see so upper portions i have divided in the similar fashions i have to uh, again start from here okay so now you can check this is 30 degree so 1.5 autocad unit then press 30 degree okay so now you can check similarly you have to repeat the same steps here to divide the circle so this will be 60 so 1.5 autocad unit tap 60 degree then this will be my another point in the similar fashion this will be as a center okay here it will be 120 so 1.5 autocad unit and 120 degree will be the rotation and press escape okay and then consider again this as a center okay and this will be my 150 so 1.5 autocad unit and uh, 150 will be my uh, radius okay so now you can check this is basically i have divided the whole several circle into 12 parts okay now i am going to convert this particular projection lines into uh, which color into cyan uh, color okay so only the true shape right and uh, true length top view will be in the white color okay rest of the dimensions will be in white uh, color okay so now this is basically my true shape okay now i can give the naming okay go to the text command okay select any point on the screen okay now i am here specifying point one because uh, if i draw point two uh, text right it will be a little bit bigger okay so which i don't want right so my figure should look beautiful okay so this is my point a because the whole circle is rested on point a it is written in the problem statement this is my point b this is my point c this is my point d this is my point e this is my point f this is my point g this is my point h this is my point i j uh, this is k and this is l okay so this is basically dear student this is my true uh, shape so what i am going to do right now okay so check so what i am going to do i am going to shift this particular x y axis little bit on the left side okay okay so or else what i can do i can delete this okay because i'm uh, looking for my figure i need to shift it okay so now uh, click on snap okay so i'm going to draw a little bit bigger my xy reference plane okay and now i'm going to give the uh, name in the text okay, select any point here point two and rotation angle is zero so this is my basically uh, here x and basically my y okay and as usual this is my vp and this thing so what you can do you can uh, press escape press j enter a enter okay right now basically you can check okay so zoom it okay it is said uh, the diameter 311 diameter circular plane is rested on hp rested on hp means my uh, true length will be on x y okay it is very clear now all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw the projection line right so i'm clicking on ortho because i don't need to draw perpendicular projection lines so i'm going to project all my uh, projectors on xy uh, reference line okay press escape similarly from point b and from point l it will be on uh, sorry press escape Control J, okay. Select here point basically B and select this particular point. Press escape, okay. Now from point C and point K, it will pass. This is another projector line, okay. From point D and from point here it is J basically. I don't know where it is J, okay. So, but I am going to write it, okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, G, K, L, okay. So I'm going to try it, no issues, okay, from point E and from point I, basically it will be uh, projected here, right, and from point F and from point H, okay, it is projected here, from point G, basically, it will be going to project, uh, 
press escape okay control j so if you are drawing uh, incorrectly so just press uh, control and j okay so now these are the projectors i have drawn so immediately what i'm going to do i'm going to convert this particular projector line into cyan color cyan color press escape okay now i'm going i'm going to give the naming okay so d text okay select for any point on the screen then point one right and rotation angle is zero right so now what i'm going to do here i have forget to give j i j right now here this will be my point a right this will be my point b dash l dash yes or no this is my point c dash k dash this will be my point right uh, d dash and uh, j dash j dash okay here also it is basically uh, e dash and h dash sorry e dash and i dash i dash this particular point is my f dash and h dash this particular point is my g uh, dash so have you observed one thing here basically this is my true length okay and one important thing i did mistake here is basically here okay here i i have written okay so i click on snap okay so this i have to uh, delete it okay and again i'm going to write the detect command okay any point on the screen okay point one uh, and rotation angle is zero so now here i am going to write it okay so which name is b dash l dash okay so this is my uh, b dash and l dash okay so l dash okay so now it is very clear okay here also if i can observe this is basically a uh, dash okay so now press escape okay and uh, you have to mark the point as well because this is basically your projector lines okay and this is so you can uh, actually uh, do at the beginning as well as at the end also right so this comes from the practice okay we need to need to draw this particular thing okay so this is my basically true length okay now it is said in the problem statement okay so press z enter a enter so what is written uh, its plane of surface inclined at 45 degrees to HP means my true length inclination is given with the HP okay so just before that what I am going to do I am going to give the dimensions okay because I don't know the dimensions of this particular true length okay so from this particular point and from this particular point this is my yes uh, 300 mm right again go to dimension select align uh, from this particular point from this particular point this is my or what i can do press escape because my dimensions uh, should go on the outside otherwise it will be very complicated to see so i'm selecting like this okay so now it will be very good okay and then again go to dimensions select a line okay from this particular point and from this particular point this is 0.75 press escape go to dimension select a line from d dash j dash to from point a dash okay it will be my 1.50 why because it is the center of the circle right we can go to dimensions select align from point d dash l dash from point a right it is basically uh, point at 2.25 right and we can go to uh, dimensions select align from this particular point right and uh, from this particular point it will be somewhat you know so you just don't worry okay just type it then press j enter a enter okay so now you can able to check the dimensions okay immediately what i need to do immediately convert this particular dimensions into cyan color so these are the my true length right and now i'm going to select any point on the xy reference line okay so here it is some point okay so what i need to do is i need to uh, delete it okay select it and delete it okay select any point on the xy reference line so i'm selecting here okay 
Now true length inclination is given 45 degrees. So from this particular point, I'm going to draw one inclination. So just before that, I'm unclicking on ortho, right? So 45 degree and length will be how much? Three AutoCAD units. So three AutoCAD unit, right? Then press tab and angle is 45 uh, degree. Okay. Then press escape. So this is my another point. So I'm going to mark one point here. Okay. This is my uh, true line inclinations and this angle is basically how much uh, angular select angular this is basically 45 uh, degree okay so convert this into uh, cyan color okay and i told you one trick so because this is my true lens so convert it into red color so that i can mark uh, all my dimensions on this particular line then you can convert it into white color so now i'm going to select my first point that is b dash l dash from point this one so i'm going to select one line okay and now uh, what will be the dimensions uh, 0 0.2010 right and the rotation angle is basically 45 okay, press uh, enter okay so this is my basically uh, 0 0.2010 so you can check continuously you can check this particular point right so what you can do first you can select this particular point right and then the distance between these two you can uh, select so say 0.2010 uh, okay so i'm pressing escape okay i'm going to uh, select the dimension like this because it should be it will be outside okay so 0 0.2010 uh, right similarly i need to uh, draw all the points right so select line now i need to draw a dash and uh, c dash k dash okay so uh, from this particular point right uh, how much length point seven five autocad unit press tab and the rotation angle is 45 degree press escape okay so this is basically wrong right so what i'm going to do it okay go to uh, go and selecting line basically because uh -huh, now this is correct okay so point seven five autocad unit right and the rotation angle is 45 degree now it is overlap perfectly so go and selecting another point here control j because i think control j press escape control j okay so to wait okay to mark the point otherwise it will be going on the wrong place okay and make sure the o snap is connected okay now i am going to select another point d dash j dash which is 1.5 autocad unit right so from this particular point okay I'm going to select 1.5 AutoCAD unit, press tab, 45 degree, automatically it will overlap, okay, then press escape, mark another point here, okay, similarly select line, okay, it is 2.25 now, okay, from the A dash, okay, so press 2.25 AutoCAD unit, right, and press tab and 45 degree rotation angle, so now you can select escape, this is my another uh, point okay and now uh, from this 2.25 there is point uh, f dash s just from this okay so go and selecting this particular point right and uh, they select three autocad unit okay sorry not three basically it is two point uh, just a minute two point seven seven nine eight okay two point seven seven nine eight this tab and the rotation angle is 45 degree so now i got my which point f dash h dash okay so i'm going to select the point here okay so now you can check my all points are basically selected so what i'm going to do i'm going to convert this particular line into white color so this is my basically okay so i'm selecting this particular line is that okay clear no so zoom it okay now it is connected to white color right so now basically press z enter it enter okay so now all my points are basically connected okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to give the dimensions but the figures will be a little bit complicated right so what i'm going to do i'm going to give the d text command first right then select any point on the screen uh, point one rotation angle is zero right so this is basically my point a this is basically my point a dash right this is basically my point 
this particular point is my uh, uh, b dash l dash right this particular point is my uh, c dash a dash right this particular point is basically t dash j uh, dash right and this particular point is e dash uh, i dash this particular point is my uh, f dash and h dash okay and this is basically my uh, g dash okay and press escape okay now i need to give the dimensions okay so whether these dimensions are correct or not i need to define it okay so go to dimensions select a line so i am drawing from the dimensions from here right now okay so what i can do basically okay press escape okay because these two dimensions i have not measured so go to dimensions uh, select align okay and from this particular point to this particular point basically this is my three autocad unit you can check right press escape so if you are getting one or two dimensions that is also okay so you can mark so because due to the complexity of the figure right so i am selecting this particular point to check whether my dimensions are correct or not so it is 2.7798 2.7798 so for your again reference you can go and selecting dimensions from here okay you can select any one point here and this particular d dash j dash so that is it is 1.5 autocad so i can now predict that my all the dimensions are correct so immediately i am converting into cyan uh, color okay so now i am going to do the projections okay what i am going to draw now the projectors the perpendicular projectors on the hp right so i am going to select it okay and uh, to make sure that okay my ortho command should be selected here so from this particular point i am going to draw one projector here okay so what i am going to do because i need to draw the projector lines just little bit below okay so yes press escape so i have drawn little bit below okay uh, so what i am going to do again okay from this particular point right i am now going to draw another projector so press escape okay then press z enter a enter immediately if you are not able to see this okay so now see now i can try easily okay so o snap command is selected then you can easily able to uh, locate the points okay then draw another projectors here press escape okay from this particular point c dash e dash it will be automatically mapped okay there is no issue press escape from this particular point okay it will be mapped automatically if your o snap command is uh, selected right draw another projector here press escape uh, from this particular point you can draw another projectors okay press escape okay from this particular point g dash basically i'm going to draw another projector press from this particular g dash i'm going to draw another projector line press escape similarly uh, what i'm going to do for the complexity initially i'm going to convert this particular projector lines into uh, cyan color okay and also these dimensions okay into uh, cyan color press escape okay now i'm going to draw horizontal projectors from every point on the circle okay so this is my one projectors press escape uh, this is my k and this will be my i it will be for us from i so if your figure is correct it will pass from both the points okay so from this l and h okay it will pass then basically from a dash and h dash it is going to pass right then from basically from b dash f dash it is going to pass right from c dash p dash it is going to pass right from d dash basically 
it is going to pass. So immediately what you need to do, you need to convert this particular projector lines into uh, cyan uh, color. Okay, then press escape. Now you need to mark each and every point here on the uh, top view, right? So this is my uh, J projection line, this is my J. So this is my point J, okay? Then select another point. Uh, this is my basically J and this is my D. So I am going to mark this D. Now from basically A dash and A. So this is my point A. Right. Again select a point. So this is my G and this is my G line. Okay. Vertical and horizontal projection. So it will automatically map. Okay. So if your post snap command and command is created. Okay. Now this is B dash L dash, so this is my uh, basically uh, yes, this is my L dash, okay, uh, and similarly this is my basically B uh, C uh, sorry, uh, this is my B dash. This particular point is B dash, okay, okay. So now from C dash L dash, so this is this is L dash line, okay. So this is my particular L dash. Sorry, press Control J, okay, okay. press Escape, press Escape, Control J. Yeah, yes so again select point okay so this is my basically c dash l dash okay so this is my oh my god control z so make sure that you are basically selecting points in a perfect manner press control z okay select this particular point so this is my c dash line uh, and this is my sorry c dash k dash okay so this is k dash okay you can see this is k dash so this is my k dash okay and here basically this is my c dash okay so this is basically my c dash okay now again uh, selected point is already selected this is my d dash e dash e dash l dash so this is basically l right so this particular point is my l yes this particular point is my e because this is the line on the projector lines okay this is my e okay again uh, from f dash h dash so this is basically my h and this is my basically uh, yeah right so you can check so now dear students we have marked all the points here right now i am going to join these particular points okay so this is considered as an ellipse okay and this will look like an ellipse so what we are going to do we are going to select the ellipse command from the toolbox okay ellipse command from the toolbox right now i am going to select this particular uh, point right and uh, this particular point okay and again it will ask for the another distance okay so i am going to select this particular point okay now you can check this is basically my ellipse okay and this is basically my top view okay so how i have did this particular thing so i am again control z okay i am going to select this particular ellipse here okay i am specifying the access point of the end point okay so this is first point okay this is my node intersection is my this is my second point okay and after that he will ask for, for the distance axis okay so this is my distance axis so you can check this will pass from all the points of the ellipse so if your figure is correct it will pass from all the points okay now press escape okay so now this is basically my uh, top view okay so i'm now going to give the command detect okay uh, line is 0.1 uh, rotation angle is 0 okay so dear student this will be my uh basically a1 right this is my uh l1 okay so if you can see check that this is my l1 okay and uh, this is my k1 so projection lines are there okay so you can basically delete it but i don't uh, suggest you to delete because this is what the projection of lane is right this is basically j1 right and this is basically uh i1 right this is this point is basically h1 this particular point is my uh, g1 right and this particular point is my f1 okay this particular point is my uh, e1 right e1 this particular point is my t1 right and this is basically my c1 okay and this is particular my p1 okay so this is my true shape here i am writing true shape this is my uh, top view this will be my true length okay right and this is true length inclination right 
and this is basically dear student the solution for the projection of uh, circular plane okay projection of circular plane of 300 mm diameter and uh, which is resting on hp at a point a so this is point a and its surface of plane inclined at 45 degrees to hp so this is basically time consuming right if you are doing practice so you can draw this right but it is very beautiful right so if you like this video like share and subscribe